<clears throat> basically how to use Blackboard. So if you go to your Blackboard for the course and click on course content, here's what you should see. There's a couple of blue links that say Pearson. Those all take you to the um, textbook website and I'll show you those in a minute. But first I'm going to show you a couple of different links to a Google Sheet that I built that is a schedule for the course. The most usually what you will click on is the brief schedule, which is what we're looking at here. It always begins with the previous class. So for us at this point, um, I'm writing, recording this Wednesday afternoon, the previous class we would have been if we had met Wednesday the 17th. It starts with the homework. The homework for Wednesday was to read the syllabus, fill out and sign the honor code, um, and then to watch. You will get to the same left various views. Um, but what you will see, that's the instructor view, here's the student view. What you will see, and I think this will be the view you most often want to look at, is this calendar. And you can see there's a homework due Friday the 19th, and then there are homeworks due Tuesday and Wednesday. They won't usually be that close together. If you click on the blue dot, scroll down a little, get started is the homework that's due on Friday. This is no content. It will take just a few minutes. It's an introduction to the um, using the system. You can see I've already shown this. You click on the first question. After that, you can just do next question. Um, and it will give you some text. Here, let me, let me do a similar question. Um, some text explaining it. You follow through. When you've read it, you click continue. And then the first thing it demonstrates for you is how to um, answer numerical questions. It says type a number in the answer box. So if you click on that box, you get this panel with various options. You can do fractions, you can do square roots, you can do pairs of numbers, um, you can do all sorts of special symbols. Those should rarely come up. Um, I need to make that go away, sorry. In our case, we just need to type um, the one in that it asks for, click check answer, and it gives you a nice positive feedback telling you that you did excellently, that's great. You keep reading, <clears throat> you click next. Here it's telling you sometimes there's histograms or other graphs that you have to click on to see. When you click on it, you see the stuff. Here it says the answer is seven. Once you understand what it says, you close it, and then you answer your question. Suppose I get it wrong, what happens? Click on check answer. Oh, it says, I'm sorry, that's wrong. And it gives you another chance. It typically gives you three chances. If it's a numerical answer, if it's like yes, yes or no, it only gives you one chance. And if it's multiple choice, it usually gives you two. Um, and we did great. If you ever run into problems, um, there's uh, help me solve this, gives you some guidance, view an example, does a similar problem, and then the last resort is ask my instructor. If you click on that, you can type your question in here and send it. What I will get is a picture of the exact version of the question that you, and you got, because everybody gets different versions exactly how you answered it and what the correct answer is. So it's very easy for me to debug. Lots of times it's very nitpicky about how many decimal places you use, whether you put a comma in the right place. So sometimes I'll just write back to you and say, oh, you were doing it right, but you didn't say this. Or, you know, sometimes you're doing something wrong. And usually I can tell very quickly, get right back to you, easiest way to do it. Um, you notice it offers you a similar question because I got it wrong. It gives you a chance to do do it again. I got it correct here in the end, so I only want to do that if I need the practice. But in <clears throat> if I didn't, if I got all the questions wrong, let's get all the questions wrong here. Um, oops. Uh, Finally, it just if I, after three mistakes, it just tells me the correct answer, but then I can do a similar question and get, take another shot at it. Okay, and then 
you keep going till you get through it. Uh, and it, because you have so many options, you, it's pretty easy to get a high grade. It, you can get a little mechanical and just start clicking through without understanding. It's worth putting a little energy into thinking about the questions because this is a great place to learn, a low stakes way to learn. Um, that is all I want to show you of this. See you Friday.